Hey everybody, I just want to make a real quick video on how to properly mount the feed through adapter on a CB or ham radio luggage mount bracket. I've seen on YouTube quite a bit where people are trying to figure out SWR problems and they make a video of their antenna setup and a lot of the times one of the first things I see is the feed through adapter is mounted in a way where it's making a direct short and it will not work the SWRs will be through the roof so you mount the bracket on your vehicle first your antenna will stick up out the top right here and of course your coax comes in at the bottom okay the way these work in your coax you've got a center conductor and then you have a braided wire on the outside the braided wire on the outside goes to this part that you screw on with the coax which touches this big nut under here which touches the bracket which grounds the antenna to your vehicle and then the center conductor is insulated by this washer plastic washer and this goes to your antenna this should go to your antenna only what some people are doing is this for some reason people are putting this plastic washer on the bottom and then they are touching this metal part directly to the bracket that's a direct short your SWRs will be through the roof and your antenna will not work if you let me take this apart real quick okay so your pieces look like this okay now this one The center conductor, the braid, the center conductor goes into the hole in the middle. The shield goes to this outside when you screw on your coax. If you look right here, this adapter's got a built-in insulator right here. So this part goes to the metal part of your truck. The center part is insulated from this part. So this part is separate from this part, and they need to stay separate. So when you get this washer, it's bigger on one side than the other. This smaller part, indentation part, fits down into the hole on the bracket. Just like that. So when you combine this washer piece, see how it keeps any metal from touching the bracket on the top? Well this built-in part right here keeps it separated from the bottom. So you put these in like this. put this one on top when you tighten that down evenly like that your bottom should be touching the bottom of the bracket the top should be insulated from the bracket then you screw this part on top Hang on a minute, let me tighten this. Okay, so it should look just like that. 
the bottom part touches the bracket the plastic insulator on top so then you just you should be good to go if you set it up that way thanks hope that helps somebody